what is going on everybody so got a quick update video um so i just placed it up here um so the grill is actually inside i'm th actually thinking of uh, changing this rose gold um you know you guys let me know what you think i mean it's not too bad but i think it's just going to be too bright compared to everything else and the other thing i was explaining in previous videos is that once this paper is removed so i can show you guys it, that is still primed so the edges this edge section which is this piece right here is all going to be black um but i haven't taken the paper off yet because i do think i might be changing it um but this is what it looks like with the rose gold with the green and the red emblem um, so far, and then I'm, there's going to be black outline. So this paper that all the sections the paper is covering is going to be black. Um, so that's what that's what it looks like right now with the rose gold. I mean, it's not too bad. Um, I do not have the grill attached, as you can see, or the the center plate is not actually attached. Neither is the emblem. I just have it hanging. Um, so if I actually pull it off. And bring it back down down here that's what it looks like underneath um and i don't have this emblem pushed in all the way either i just have it sitting there um it does look like i might be painting it again so um you know and these emblems i do not have them like completely attached as you could tell so what i picked up I also picked up some clear coat too. So I picked up four cans of clear coat. I'm not using four cans on this grill. I just, I like picking up extras of things so that way I don't have to go back. I have a huge stock of paint. Um, so this is that rose gold that I was, that, that is up there on the grill right now. It actually says on the back for these cans in particular, from Rust-Oleum Bright Coat Metal Finish. You actually have to look above the la the, the scan bar uh, barcode. Bright Coat Rose Gold. Which it is bright. I mean, it's a pretty color. I just don't think it's great for the application um, on the vehicle. I did pick up a paintbrush as well. Um, and a little paint mixer bucket and what i'm going to do is i have extremely bright like fire engine red paint um out in the barn with all the rest of the paint supply and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some in here when this assembly is all done i'm going to dip the paintbrush and i'm going to splatter like this i'm going to splatter the paint uh, kind of try to give that um you know a blood splatter effect and, and um, it's going to be going across the green. It'll probably be splattering on this uh, Clariat wine. And it's going to be splattering on the main grill, the black, and the what right now is the rose gold. Um, and it's already dusty for some reason. So it's actually coming off on my finger a little bit. It's hard to tell, but it actually did wipe off on my finger. See the shine, but um, so I mean, it, it did come out nice. It looks pretty good. But you know, I'm thinking of doing a darker color. I was originally on the first couple of videos, I was calling it bronze, um, and I got dark bronze. And I got this brushed amber. Um, I grabbed one of each. I only need to do one coat. So it's, you know, one coat with this can. The can's still half half full, so it's not a big deal. Um, um, you know, that's pretty much it. I did pick up, you know, several clear coat. I do want to protect it. Um, this is fast drying, non yellowing, UV resistant clear, uh, gloss clear coat. Um, and they're only like $5.98 a, a can. These two 
Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formulas, which paint and primer these her 11 something. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking to use the dark bronze. Um, but if I remember correctly, the brushed amber was a little bit lighter. And they tell you to, you know, you know, the color of the paint is the color of the cap. And uh, in my opinion, guys, don't always trust the color that's on the cap because um, they don't paint these caps. They're dyed. So what comes out of the can doesn't always actually match the cap. Um, as an example, you know, here's the cap. We put it up next to it. The cap is a more of a brown color compared to the actual rose gold. The rose gold is actually quite a bit deeper and brighter in color than the cap. There are certain sections, like right here where the light is hitting it, that it is pretty close in the color, but it's not identical. So, especially if you look at it from like the paper, you know, the paper that was painted. It's definitely not the same. It's close, but, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this tomorrow, uh, get another coat on it, change or darken this color. I mean, who knows? Maybe this bright rose gold will actually lighten um, one of these a little bit. I'm thinking of doing um, dark bronze. Um, and I can show you guys. Um, let me see. Do, do, do. There's some paper right here. There you go. Some paper right there. You gotta slide that little lock off. So this is dark bronze. Try to shake it a little. So that's what the dark bronze looks like. Here you go. And then if I do this brushed amber, show you guys this one. That's the brushed amber, which is more of a brown. So I'm actually, I'm thinking on using the brushed amber, to be honest. I think that would look good. But I picked up both of them. Um, so, I'm going to experiment with them a little bit. Uh, I think the brushed amber is providing the brown hue that I'm looking for. The um, uh, dark bronze is more of a blackish bronze is brown. Because bronze is just brown and gold. Um, so... I think either one of these would look good, to be honest. I'm still gear gearing towards the amber. But, um, you know, I picked up some paint, and once, it's, once that's done, I'm going to clear coat this green. I'm going to clear coat these emblems. I'm going to clear coat the grill. Um, get a nice clear coat on them. And then um, put it on the truck. I only bought the clear coat because I want to protect it from sun fade um it's just a cheap paint job i'm not doing this you know with the you know primer then then sanding the primer then you know dusting the primer off and cleaning it with acetone um or you know other cleaning agents then turning around and then painting the green and then scratching and scuffing the green and then you know clear coating it and then putting another layer of green and then clear coating i'm not doing it the way you should it's just a it's just a plastic old broken grill that came off of a fourth gen forerunner and i'm just trying to repair it so that is all i got for you guys today hope you guys have an awesome awesome rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time